They call it secret for a reason. Julia Pearson, the first female director of the Secret Service, has been on the job for 30 years. But we could only find two pictures, one official and one not, of the former Disney World employee who worked her way up from the parking lot to cartoon character in the parade, telling the Smithsonian Magazine in a 2007 article, the experience of dealing with large crowds at the park had a good influence on my ability to do that sort of work with the Secret Service. From there, she worked as a police officer for the city of Orlando, liked it, but wanted to travel, so the Secret Service made sense as her next step. The White House announcement mentions nothing of Pearson's personal life, saying only that she consistently exemplified the spirit and dedication the men and women of the service demonstrate every day. Important since Pearson takes over a service badly damaged by a sex scandal just a year ago. What happened here in Colombia is being investigated by uh, the director of the Secret Service. A group of Secret Service agents advancing the president's trip to Colombia were caught hiring prostitutes and fired. It led to the retirement of Director Mark Sullivan last month. I am deeply disappointed and I apologize for the misconduct of these employees. Pearson's appointment should signal a culture shift at the heavily male service, where of the 2,000 agents, only 20 percent are women. I think given the fact that the first female agent was accepted by the Secret Service in 1975, it's about time that the Secret Service finally did get a female director.